welcome to the Giving Flower Podcast. This is episode 13. Um, yeah, as you can see, we are on the bridge today. Behind yeah. us, the seats are empty because the whole crew is off. Um, they've left for the day. Um, they're off on vacation. So we've decided to do the podcast on the bridge. And, um, yeah. Yeah, we're kind of... It's an autopilot right now, right? I think so. So, we're all good. So, we thought I'd podcast from here today. Welcome to the, the Giving Farm Kimberlolly, or Kimberly, Kimberlolly on Plurk and Ravelry and everywhere else. And you are? Alexander. Hi. And on Ravelry, I am Alexander spelled backwards, I think. Yeah. And the funny thing is, we just sat down to do this podcast and the cat was sleeping upstairs. I think she hears the button the turn on button because she has yeah. now walked into the room. <laughs> it is funny how they know that. They just know. She just knows we're doing a podcast. Anyway, mm. so. But the doors are back there. She's got. She's on the ship. Yes, yes, yes. But the doors are back there. I know. She's walked in through the back and she's coming. Oh, here. okay. Okay. So anyway, <laughs> I hope this is okay. We're kind of having fun. Give us a break. You know, right? Mm. Okay. Um, I would like to say the first thing I want to do is a shout out to Tina from Blooming Knitter. She showed me as her. Um, I was her. Uh, designer for the last two weeks and I'm gifting a couple people my blue ivy which I'm wearing today here she is I love it my blue ivy really and I have made a new version I had it tested um, a bigger version of the blue ivy two longer versions where the lace is a bit longer and um, that I just put out just before we started the podcast I put that pattern out so it's all set and ready to go and yeah so thank you very much Tina I wanted to say hi to you and, um, um, more shout outs, my test knitters. I have a bunch of patterns being tested right now. I have my, uh, Berlin washcloths, my London washcloths, the blue ivy, I've got the, the Judy B. I have them all here to show you guys. They're all being test knitted and I have groups on Ravelry test knitting groups. And I have found the best test knitters. They're so wonderful. A couple of them. And I just wanted to say hi to, um, Yvonne. Uh, she's Red Hat Knitter, and she's wonderful. Wonderful. She's my new mom. I've adopted her, and she's adopted me. And Evie and Lily is another one who is wonderful. She's helped me so much on my Judy B pattern. I wrote the pattern down. I understood it, but, oh well, I'm not anybody else could understand. So she helped me out. She helped me write it up and um, fix it and everything. So I wanted to say a big thank you to both of you for doing that. That's great. You guys are great. And those patterns are going out today and tomorrow. So... I think I might just do Judy B either tonight or tomorrow. That's going out. I hope. We'll see. The test knit is over on the 5th of May, but I may be just putting it up earlier because I've got... Uh, Avi and Lily, you've got to see hers. It's gorgeous, gorgeous. So thank you to the, both of them. And, um, yeah, I can show you everything. So we've got the Judy B, which... Uh, the Blue Ivy, which is done and long done. And I wasn't able to show you this last time, but here is my... And this is showing up very blue on the screen. The color's not the best. This is my cashmere silk. This is my Judy B. And I love her. And I don't know if you can see it. Um, but there's lace, a reversible cable, short rows. It's a crescent shawl. But it's a very, very long one. So you can wrap it around. Um, I love it. So I'll be wearing this next time when we're not on the bridge. Because when we're on the bridge, I can't wear green. Um, it's okay. This is a okay green? It's not so good to wear it, but... Um... I can show it. Yeah, it's okay, okay. to show. So this will be up in my project page. Go check it out. It's Judy B. Because my sister's name is Judy. And I'm named it after her because I adore my sister. And that's what it looks like. It's really pretty. Soft, soft, soft. I say wear it, but you can't. Yeah. Um, so that's the Judy B. And that's being worked on. And another thing I worked on quite a bit. Oh, and um, the cat is scratching. Watch the pole. Scratching yeah. post is going woo woo. She has to do this while we're in here. Oh yeah, we brought the scratching post, post here too. To the bridge, we did. I forgot that. Scratching post on the bridge. <laughs> um, <laughs> I wanted to show you, I'm kind of going through stuff in a weird um, order, but I, I needed to show you a little Madeline Tosh that I bought at Yarn Over Berlin because I can't not buy from them. It's bad, bad, bad. And this is Madeline Tosh um, Prairie. It's 100% super wash merino wool. It's a one ply and it's gorgeous. It's lavender rose. That's not what it says on here, but I think that's what it's supposed to be. Um, gorgeous lavender color. 
and I'm debating, I'm going to make another Blue Ivy, the long version, the extra large version, and I'm debating whether I want to do it in lavender, or, I bought this as well, I have to show you this, oh my gosh, if this were touch of vision you guys would be squishing, <gasps> oh. yeah, that's what you'd be doing, but you can't, sorry, it's mm. just for me, good thing I have two, she's taking one, where's the other one? Give me that one back. I don't know where the other one is. I bought two of these. This is um, from Skein. I can't see because the camera's right in the middle. It's from Skein. It's silk cashmere lace, 55 silk, 45 cashmere in the barley colorway. And it is gorgeous. I love it. it I saw it and said, oh, I have to have that. That's the off-white that I so love. And I'm thinking this one kind of needs beads. So I might be doing, I can't decide yet. Maybe we should put in a questionnaire if I should do lavender or if I should do white. But the thing is, I'm going to do what I want, so it doesn't matter what you guys say. I'm going to do it anyway. So I've got two of these, and I've got one of these. So I'm de debating. They're both enough to make the Blue Ivy Large version. I think you need 800. That's a good idea. We could put a question thingy on Yeah, and a poll, and they have to decide which one. Which one do you okay. think would be a pretty Blue Ivy? A lavender ivy or a barley ivy? Oh, it's like an off-white. I'm thinking more of this. Anyway, I don't want to. I don't want to, you know, convince anybody. Anyone <laughs> would be the best. A lavender ivy would be pretty too. Don't know. Don't know. So, um, but whatever isn't, then it's going to be another shawl that I'll try to design. So here we go from Skein. Yarn over Berlin. Go visit. Go visit. Yarnoverberlin.de. They have gorgeous stuff. If you could just touch. Mm. No, this one's better. Because this one's silk and cashmere. Oh. So, there you have it. I have those. That's what's coming up next. And then, Julie, the play yard. I adore her. I adore her podcast. It's wonderful. She, the mean person that she is, put in a nice little tutorial about Kool-Aid dyeing. Oh, hello. Like, I need this, right? <laughs> I watched the whole thing. I bought some yarn. I ordered Kool-Aid online. Oh. Lots of Kool-Aid online. It came. Oh, yum. <laughs> We're not eating it. We're dying with it. I bought yellow I'm, for lemonade and uh, pink. But I'm dying to drink it. It's not going to happen. I'm going to die with it. You will die if you like it. So, and I bought green because I want pink. And yellow and green. I'm going to try to make striped sock yarn. And I bought th two things of sock yarn at my local yarn store around the corner where I go for my yarn meet, uh, a knit night every Wednesday night. And this one is from Shopa Vola. And it's, it's just a regular old... Oh, no, this one has... This one has wool and cotton in it because I want to see how it dyed. And this one's just regular old... Um, Sock wool, um, 75, 25%. Oh, shovel So I've got these two to do, and I wanted to do them in stripes, so we'll see what happens. We were going to do that today or tomorrow, because we have today and tomorrow off. It's Monday. Tomorrow is May 1st. It's a holiday here in Germany, so we, are, we don't have to go to school, which is a wonderful thing. Mm. Good thing? Mm. Okay. Um, so that's what we might do today. Don't know yet. First, we wanted to do the podcast and want to get some patterns done. Did that. We'll have to see. So that's coming up. You might see. Next week. Might see. Well, in two weeks, whenever we do the next show. Oh, yeah, well, you I'm might see. Week. So thank you, Julie. Needed that. But it'll be good. It should. It looked super easy. And I thought, oh my gosh, if she can do this, I can do this. So that's, that's that. Um, but we're not going to do it on the bridge. We're going to no. see if we can get Neelix to let us use the kitchen for that. He's got to have like a microwave type thing. <laughs> yeah. Um, so that's that. Thank you, Julie, for pushing that on me. Mm -hmm. We'll let you know how it goes. Um, yeah. Let me show you my washcloths that I've been working on. I never thought I'd be doing washcloths because I like cashmere silk. I like wool. I do love cotton. Don't get me wrong. I love cotton. But I'm not a washcloth kind of person. Well... <laughs> decided to make some and I changed the charts from the hat a little bit to make them a little bit bigger and the first pattern that came out were the washcloths for Berlin and here I've made them finished object here is the Reichstag 
You say what the buildings are. The this is the Reichstag. Mm-hmm. I can't... Gedächtniskirche. This is the Gedächtniskirche. It's kind of hard to see. Right? Maybe this way. No, it's hard to see. This anyway. Kind of a blue yes. Um, what's this? And this is the Siegesäule. And I'm not done. It's London. <laughs> um, oh! That's big. Yeah, and it's pink. <laughs> That's the um, TV tower. Well, don't know what it's. Fernsehturm. Yeah, see, so you got it. I knew you'd get it. All on his <laughs> own. Um, bright pink. I had to buy the bright pink because I do Whoa. these things. So I know. Woo, make you sick. Um, and what else? Oh, this is my favorite. This is my absolute favorite of all of them. The Brandenburg Gate. Yeah. And I am using this because I have a knitting club at school. After Are school on Tuesdays. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I have a knitting club after school on Tuesdays. And I have a little system where they earn points of how much they knit and everything. I'll tell you about that someday. But I have brought this pattern in to show them. And they are all knitting washcloths now. So um, this is the the most popular one is the Brandenburg Kate. I love these. I think that it's so much fun. This is all I've done the last two weeks is knit these washcloths because I have Berlin and London. Oh, 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 you didn't see the bear. That's the Berliner bear. Wait, the Berliner bear. Oh, yeah. Cute, isn't it? The kids love the Berliner bear and the Brandenburg Gate. Those are the two that were the big one. Oh, sorry. What's this one? The... Um, Rathaus. Yeah. Rotes, Rotes Rathaus. Oh, Rotes Rathaus. So, that's Rotes Rathaus, um, is that one. So those are what the about ones. your German word? For I've day. got it. Oh. <laughs> Good, yeah, huh? Yeah. Um, and then we have London. And I did London, and I finished them last night. I, well, I didn't do them all, but I did enough that I could take pictures for the pattern. And we have Nelson's Column. I can't really see it all that well. There we Oh, look, there you can see it. Do you see it? Yeah. Let's see. Woo! Woo! I'm sorry. I'm just... <laughs> Woo! Yeah, there you can see it too. Okay, and then we have the Gacken. Woo! Okay. <laughs> and then we have. Guess what it is? Can't hear you. The Tower Bridge. Um, we have the London Eye. I have no idea what side this is. No, it's the side. Woo! London Eye. And the, another one that I love, 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 love. Oh, that's the bus that you Yeah, the double decker bus. Wait, I don't know which side's better. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that's that bus. And because it's the Queen's 60th, I made it upside down. The crown. It looks like a couch. You didn't just say that. <laughs> It looks like a crown, Mom. Oh, it looks like a crown, Mom. See, when you're on the bridge, you don't say those things. No. This is the crown. Woo! Okay. So, these are the washcloths. They're on sale now. I put them up in my Ravelry page. The pattern's been tested. Both have been tested. And they're wonderful. They're so much fun to knit. It's fun to watch them come up. I just, I kind of had fun with it. I thought, oh, I'll knit. And I kept going. So, there is the crown. They're done. So that's what I've been working on the last two weeks. I know it's not that spectacular, but it's been kind of fun. Totally fun knitting those little washcloths. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take, and oh, Nalita is my test knitter, and she'll show you her washcloth next week. She's too busy today. Didn't have time. She is on an away mission. I thought she's on a computer. She's on an away mission. Oh, okay, yeah. Alita is on an away mission with the captain. So, um, she couldn't join us and in the Chiquita. podcast today. Yeah. No, on the yeah, planet. Was... We're circling the planet. We're orbiting the planet right now, and she's on the away mission. Mm -hmm. So she couldn't come and just show us. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm hoping nobody from the States is watching this, but I'm going to knit some of these and add it with soap and make it a little gift um, to bring back. Because we're in the States. We're going to the States in July. So... Oh. Are we going to do a podcast there? They're from the States? Yes, we are. Hello. Awesome. Anyway, so those are going to be gifts. Great gift idea. That's why I kind of had fun and kind of kept going. So I've got more to do. But I'm going to take a break for those for now. And you'll remember my Nuvum from last time.
time that I absolutely love that I wear every day. This thing, I just love it. So my new one I've been wearing every day because it's kind of chilly but not cold enough for a jacket. Perfect. And of course, this is hydrangea. Volmeiza. Hydrangea. It's my color. Mm. In lace. But it looks a little like your... Um, it is. It's it's a different color though. See how it's a little bit yeah, but on purple? The... More purple? It's not. It's... Mm, maybe. I'll show you next week too. See? There she is. Uh, yeah, and it's just half of, the, half of the ball. Oh my goodness. I'm nutty. And I've started. I cast on. And I did one row last night. So this is going to be my second new one. Because I need another one. I wear the other one like out. All the time. So... This is going to be my next new one. Can't wait. Yes, I have enough projects on the needles and I had to do this. I am going to Leipzig next weekend with the tennis team from my school. And this is prime knitting time. I've got, what, <laughs> a couple hour bus trip. And we're going out to dinner with the other coaches. So what does a coach do? She knits. Everyone else looks at her strange, but I don't care. And all the kids last year, all the kids on the tennis team learned how to knit from me because it rained. So I had them get knit, knitting needles and yarn from their host families, and we sat in the clubhouse while it was raining and knit. And everyone else did nothing. But they're, So they're all knitting, and they're bringing their knitting with them. The girls, anyway. I don't know the boys. Not, so. so this is coming with me. So hopefully next time I will have something to show you. Yeah, I think that's about it for today. Um of everything. I've got a ton of stuff. I always think I've got this other little tip. Um, you know, I was thinking of putting in little tips. For example, I was listening to a podcast and I wish I knew which one it was now because I've started running again and I've been running three times a week. Um, my five kilometers. I need to run ten. I just haven't gotten up to it yet. Um, but I've been running five and listening to my podcast and one of the knitters said that in her knitting bag, in her little um, accessory bag in her knitting bag, uh, she keeps a straw so that when she needs a stitch marker, she can cut little stitch markers off of the straw. Mm. I thought that was the coolest idea. Like you just cut off little loops yeah. and then you've got stitch markers in case you need them. I thought that was so cool. So that's my little tip of the day. Um, and I wish I knew how I could say that was from Knitting Pipeline, possibly. I have so, so many awesome podcasts, I can't even tell you. Um, so and knitting, I don't know. Anyway, so that was my little tip of the day. And yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, we're gonna get back to work, uh, let the crew back on the, the bridge, and uh, we will see you in two weeks. I know there's so many things I've forgotten to tell you. I wrote it down, um, <laughs> I'm always thinking of stuff to say and I don't write oh, it down. If I don't write I, it down, I forget what. I one thing. And there's going to be a um, program for Android, phones so you can check for new podcasts. Like know. a RSS reader type thing for yeah, the Android? For, the for Android. Well, yeah, you're organizing phones. my... Yeah, no, I'm organizing them. Oh, yeah, I'm going to keep him. Ooh. Whoa, <laughs> and blinding me the pink. I love the pink, though. I think it's kind of... A, I did them on all different needles and all, and two different um, yarns, thicknesses. I don't, We don't have... Um, Peaches and cream, I think it's what it's called in the States that you guys get for washcloths. We don't have that here. So I just used some stuff that I bought that was fairly thick that was similar to that um, to try out. And then I, I tried a very eco, um, what is it called? Eco something or other cotton by Schockermeyer, I think. And that's what I knit the other ones in, the other washcloths. I like the colors of those, I think, a little bit better. But And I also have a couple colleagues that are knitting them too. Because they're a great first project. Great first project so you learn how to knit and Nobody's on. No, they're not coming. They're not opening the door. Um, I just slip behind the couch because it looks weird. No, on the bridge. Oh, yeah. Anyway. No, no one's coming. So, the German word for the day is wash. Hmm? Waschlappen. Ah, waschlappen. And in English, it is washcloth. Yeah. So, there you go. Waschlappen. Oh, oh. And we didn't forget it. Miriam and Hannah. Hi, Hannah. Um, we, our friends were oh, over hi. yesterday, and um, we just wanted to say a quick hi to Hannah because she's so cute. Our uh, best friends. We've been friends since I came here in 94, and it's my husband's best friend and his wife, and they have a child, and her name is Hannah, and she's adorable, and they were here yesterday. We grilled, and it was so much fun, and I showed her the podcast, and she laughed, and then, oh my gosh, what are you doing? She is going to knit 
the Berlin hat for Hannah because it looks so cute on her. Um, anyway, so we want to say hi, Miriam and Hannah. Hannah is so cute. She's learning English. Oh, it's so cute. She understood me. Mm -hmm. Not many people do. Oh, strange. So anyway, thanks for watching. If you put up with us this long, you're awesome. <laughs> what can I tell you? And um, we will be back next time, hopefully with some stripy sock yarn. Um, and I'm starting my next design. I, I'm so into the designing thing, but I'm going to work on my new of them. Do the next design. We'll see. And, um, yeah. I think I'm hearing someone come. Uh-oh. we got to get out of here. Uh, bye. We're not supposed to be on the bridge. Don't tell the captain. Bye. bye. <laughs>